Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show, where I couldn't be more pleased than to have Dan Mervish in our studio. He's co-founder of Slam Dance. He's a writer. He's a hey, director. Dan. He's a producer. He uh, does craft services. He writes books. All of it. Good grief, man. Good to Do see you. Do you sleep again, ever? <laughs> no, not this week. <laughs> no, for not sure. this, No one sleeps this week. No, exactly. No, sleep is for sissies. Uh, yes. Sleep when you're dead. Exactly. Right? Yeah. So uh, I just uh, I'm looking back at your year, and you had like where everyone else had a bad 2016 because right. the, the rest of the world really not so great not so great yeah you had like the best 2016 ever I know yeah I wrote a book and I shot a movie so uh, wow it's pretty good yeah and it's not just that you wrote a book you wrote a book that's already a, it's already a bestseller it is in fact I already sold a book um, fi five minutes ago to Caitlin your director yeah I want one too yeah so yeah I plan on a couple of sales here there you go this oh, is the book there we by go. the way there you go uh, yeah I'll the cheerful one, subversive Joe. guide to independent filmmaking uh, now, this is available right here in town, too. It is. In fact, I'm doing, funny you should say that, Joe, because I'm doing a book signing today at Dolly's Bookstore at 510 Main Street, right next to uh, Mountain, uh, the, the Rocky Mountain um, Chocolate right. Factory. And, uh, yeah. And so Caitlin Dolly's and I will be it. there with our books to get them signed, then. Exactly. Well, I signed hers already. I'll have Did to you? sign yours. Okay. Yeah. yeah, please do. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, it was a fun book to write. I'd wow. written a lot of articles over the years on, on independent filmmaking from, you know, because I'm one of the founders of Slamdance I've, and directed a bunch of films. Yeah, know I should know a few things so uh, so this year I decided to put it all together in a book and uh, published by focal press and uh, and here we are selling in Park City now I like this because you've got some little bits and pieces from other people's films here exactly some of which have come through here yeah yeah I love um, that. yeah because I'm not that famous of a director but I've mm. run into many famous well directors, I mean so you know Christopher Nolan the for Russo one. brothers Ryan Johnson right. Lynn Shelton yeah the Ryan Johnson part in here is great that's like how to take how the right shot exactly right? yeah <laughs> so Alexander uh, Payne there's all Alexander kinds of great Payne, stuff yeah and and these are all people that I've that I've known and met over the years and lessons I've learned from them so uh, so even if you don't know who I am you'll know who <laughs> some of these people are. And also some older and some, honestly, some dead people. Robert Altman, who was a mentor of mine, Harold wow. Ramis, uh, John Carpenter, who's still alive. Um, people like those that I've that I've gotten to know over the years as well. So. Yeah. Oh boy, you, that's a good list too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, all right. So what I've got to ask you about with uh, with this, what what was the final straw that made? Okay, I'm going to sound all right. Well, was it was really, it was because I was working on uh, my new movie, Bernard and Huey, yeah. and, uh, and I was getting ready to sign my deal with, uh, with Jules Pfeiffer, the, uh, the writer, right. uh, Pulitzer, Oscar, yeah, I, I, OB okay. winner. Well, let's jump into that for a sure. second, because I mean, <laughs> seriously, you've known this guy for a while, Yeah, yeah. which we was we lucky. Started, we started looking for a script four years ago. I just stumbled into an article that said he had several unproduced screenplays. I'm like, a guy that good. I mean, he wrote Carnal Knowledge, the Mike Nichols film. Uh, he wrote Popeye, the Robert Altman film. Right. And I thought, whatever he's got, it's got to be good. So I tracked him down, and he was very sweet. He lives, he's 88, lives out in the Hamptons, writes graphic novels still. And, wow. and he's like, I'm 88, Mervish, let's, let's make this thing already. Yeah, um, I, I mean, want to so, see it before I die. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, um, so yeah, it was a long process to literally to find the script because his agent was dead, his assistant was dead, his lawyer was dead. So, <laughs> um, But eventually we found it. We got an amazing cast. Um, uh, Jim Rash, who's I'm sure been on the show before, he, he directed The Way, Way Back. And he's an Oscar winning um, a screenwriter for The Descendants. He's, he's, uh, he's our lead actor in the film because I think you weren't available. I would have week. liked yeah. to have been. And uh, David Koechner from the Anchorman movies, Richard Kind, all kinds of really amazing people wow. are in the film, and we finally shot it in October, and November. But while oh, I was I getting was available in October, oh November, my gosh. you're wrong. Oh, I had your number wrong, Jim. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, but along the way, there was a one point where I was going to New York to sign the final yeah. deal with Jules. And uh, do I have stuff there? No, no I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> and um, and I was uh, there was some little delay and a hitch in the contract, and so I had an extra day in New York where yeah. I wasn't doing anything. I was like, well, what ha else happens in New York? Oh, there's publishers in New York. Mm. I know. I'll pitch a book. Serious? Yeah. It was that was the way. That was it. That was See, why when I wrote I, a book. Okay, when I have an extra day in New York, I go to the Rand and buy books. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not nearly as cool as you. I, I come out with a stack. Yeah. You yeah, on the other crazy. hand are like, I'll go sell a book. I'll sell a book. Why not? What? Yeah. And this that was it. That was yeah. it. But I'd, uh, but I'd written a lot of articles for Filmmaker Magazine and other uh, film journals, and that was that was kind of the spine of the book. That was yeah. about forty percent of it. And it really, the book covers everything from uh, from how to find a script to um, 
you know, or write a script, yeah. to, to uh, raising money, uh, setting up LLCs, kind of the boring stuff, but I make it fun, um, to directing, finding A-list actors and putting them in a micro-budget uh, film, which so many people here in Park City have done, and, and, and then festivals, distribution, how to win an Oscar, how to take a meeting in Hollywood, all kinds well, of Well, we're going to find out. I think Oscar list just came out about Ten minutes ago. Oh my gosh! So we're gonna uh, find out if you're on if that. I'm on it this yeah, year. for yeah, sure. Or <laughs> we gotta snubbed check again, that out. You know. Yeah. Okay. So what's really good for you? The probably the best part of all of this is from now on when people call you uh, to say, "So how do I get my movie into into Slam Dance? What do I do to, to get a movie going?" Right, right, He's right. like, "Yeah, I, I, yeah there's this the book. book. Right. There's this book by this really awesome author. Right. <laughs> Let me tell you about him. Go yeah. get it." It really. Right? I mean, that was the other impetus was that every day I do get calls from other I film workers, and I'm like, oh, "I gosh, called you." Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's and and, uh, and now I can just say, yeah, read the book. In <laughs> fact, buy the book. Don't just read it. Don't just pirate it. Yeah. There is a whole chapter on piracy in there too. So it was a, uh, as there should be. Yeah, because yeah, we've all everybody's experienced that at, exactly. some, at some level. Exactly. I mean, everybody gets sniped either, a little bit. Yes, or or pirated yourself, or, or watched things. So well, it's an possible. it's an interesting nuanced chapter. It's a little different than than what uh, than what most people would think it would be. How are you guys feeling at Slam Dance now? What year number are we on? This is our 23rd year that we've oh, done this. So, years. yeah, yeah, uh, and it's going great. It's it's amazing. I mean, what I think has distinguished Slam Dance is that how consistent we are. I mean, it, we we stay focused. We're at the Treasure Mountain Inn. It's a small, intimate environment. We we've we haven't really tried to grow geographically, and Why because of that, we've yeah. been able to weather the you know the storms of the economy and different waves and trends. And uh, we have some tremendous films uh, this year and great filmmakers. Well, we sure do. Let's take a look at Bernard and Huey. We have a clip for No, him. we have a clip oh, of the trailer for the, the book. Oh, a clip for the trailer for the book. Yeah, because oh, you can't just wrong. write a book. If okay. you're a filmmaker and you write a book and you don't have a trailer for the book, what kind of filmmaker are you? Well, that's a good point. Yeah. Oh, well, let's take a look that at the trailer. That is an excellent trailer. I prefer that to the film. <laughs> I, I prefer the film to the book. Yeah. Thank Maybe. you. Yeah, well that, then <laughs> I'll, I'll charge you 25 bucks for the trailer. I, it's amazing. You, you've covered all the things that you and I ever talked about. Yeah. It's all in there. It, it, it really is. Including yeah. how to be more popular, uh, how, to, how to win friends, influence people, mm -hmm. meet girls. All of it, it. It is in there. That's one of the perks <laughs> of uh, that's in the film festival chapter. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, it, the hot tub was in there. The hot, How exactly to behave the in the hot tub exactly. was in there. That's true. That's true. Yeah. We <laughs> we always have the hot tub summit at Slam Dance. And that's so, right. Uh, Wednesday night, I think. And there's right. always somebody who doesn't know how to behave properly. You hand them the book and say, "This is how you should behave in the hot tub." Right. Exactly. But it's not it's not waterproof, but it is uh, <laughs> it is heat resistant. So uh, <laughs> well, there's true. that. There is that. Dan, I want to thank you as always for being here. You're such a yeah. character. Thank I you, look Joe. forward always to your newest hat. Thank you. This, this is, is a, the, this the is logo a for the one. book. So it is tremendous. See, check that out. <laughs> All right. All right. And I'll I be had back to here. That. With Thank my you film so next very year. much for being here. I'm looking forward to it as well. We've got a lot more coming up here on the Mountain Morning Show that you should be looking forward to right after these messages.